Dear students, welcome to Amar Ghare, Amar School. Hope all of you are keeping fine. At first, I am going to write some of the sentences on the board. Please look at them and try to copy them. Are you ready with your copy and pen? Please, if you are not, get ready. So let's go to the board. He is dash boy. Next sentence, he is good. The next sentence, he is dash good boy. I come to the next sentence. Mm. They are boys. Then the next sentence, dash boys are my friends. Okay, look at these five sentences. He is dash boy, he is dash good, he is dash good boy, they are dash boys and dash boys are my friends. So if I ask you to fill in the blanks, what will you do? You will use A here. He is a boy. And next sentence, he is good. So there will be no word. So it will be a cross. In the next sentence, there will be, he is a good boy. Come to the fourth sentence, they are boys. So no article will be used. And in the fifth sentences, the boys are my friends. So boys, so students, you can easily understand that what we are going to learn today. Yes, we are going to learn articles. So as we are going to learn articles, so at first we have to understand what article is. So I think um, as you learned about article in class 6, so you know about them at least a little. So articles are the word, article are the words which take place before the noun and indicate whether the noun is definite or indefinite. So these are the articles. Articles, there are three articles in English. They are A, N, and D. The. These are the three, three articles we use in English language. So we have to learn the use of these three articles. But before going to learn about their uses, at first we have to learn where to use an article and where not to. Because in your exam, there will be like the questions that fill in the blanks with articles, put a cross where no article is used. So students, at first we have to learn where to use article and where not to. When you see that although there, there is no need to use an article, then you will put a cross. And when you will need to know, yes, there will be an article. That very time you have to think about uh, A, N, or D. If the article is definite, you will think about D. And if the article is not definite, you will think about A or N. So, okay, at first let us try where to use article. Listen. Articles are directly connected to nouns. If there is noun, there might be article. And if there is no nouns, there cannot be any articles. Basically, articles are connected with nouns. For example, I gave you the example that he is good. He is good. So, is there any noun? There is no noun. So, it will be a cross. He is good. But if I use he is dash good boy. So you can see here, boy is the noun, only for this we have to use an article that is A. So he is good, no article and he is a good boy. So we have used the article A here. So article is directly connected with noun. Now we have to know the use of definite article and indefinite article. In my this class, I will talk about the use of indefinite articles. That means the use of A and 
uh, n. So, boys, let's go. So, at first we have to learn or uh, recognize that two articles that is definite and indefinite. Indefinite articles are A, N and definite articles only one D. So, we will talk about the use of D in my next class, but and now this class I will talk about the use of A and N. Listen, these two articles are same in meaning. These two articles A and N are same in their meaning, but they are different in their uses. So, at first we have to learn about the differences of their uses. Okay, let's start. A and N. A or N. Where to use them? Okay. We usually know that A is used before a consonant sound and N is used before a vowel sound. Listen, you may be mingle, you may mingle about the sound and letter. You should always remember that articles are, especially the use of A and N are directly associated with the sound, not the letter. So, they are directly associated with sound. That A is used before a, a consonant sound and N is used before an um, before a vowel sound. For example, A boy, A cat, A horse, A yard. So, look at this word boy, cat, horse and yard and every initial sound is consonant B, C, A, S, Y. These are the consonant sound only for this we have used here the article A. But there is difference sometimes you might have the consonant sound but the consonant sound remains silent and there the vowel sound is pronounced. So, in this case you have to use an. For example, an hour, an air, an honest person. So, here you can see there is the presence of the letter A's, but while you are pronouncing the word you are saying not hour, you are saying hour. This is hour, this is air, and this is honest. So, you are pronouncing it with the vowel sound, not the consonant sound. Only for this, as it is pronounced as the uh, vowel sound, so you must use the article M. I think you have understood. Now, come to the next episode that is at the very beginning, what I have said that we use an before a vowel sound. For example, an umbrella, then an egg, an apple. So, look at these words umbrella, egg, apple. The initial sound is vowel sound. The initial sound is vowel sound. So, as they are vowels, so we are using an before them, an umbrella, an egg, an apple. But here is difference. The initial sound may be, the initial letter may be vowels, but they will take the article A. Why? For example, a university, a European, a unique position. Here boys, here students look at these three sentences, three, three words, university, European and 
unique position. Here you see the existence of U, E and U. They are basically vowels but their pronunciation is not the vowel here because you are pronouncing at university, European and unique. That is U. We are pronouncing it as U. So while we are pronouncing it as U, look at here, it is U, U, Y. So Y is vowel or consonant? Y is consonant. As Y is consonant, so we must use the article A here. So basically if the initial sound is uh, vowel, then it takes the article N. But if the initial sound, it may be vowel, but it is pronounced as the consonant like U. So while E, U and E, if they are pronounced as U, look at my lips, U, so that very time they will take the article A, not N. You know there is a vowel O. There is a vowel O. So an old person. An orange. So O is vowel and we have used the article N here as it is vowel. Okay. But if this O is pronounced as wa, if this O is pronounced as wa, what? Wa. For example, a one eight man, then a one taka note. Look at these two phrases. So one one here. O is pronounced as wa. Here O is used as wa. So when you are use, uh, pronouncing it as wa, so look at the look at here W. Wa. Wa is the consonant. As while pronouncing the word, we are using we are pronouncing at one. So wa. So wa is consonant only for this. We have to use the article A, not N. I think. You have understood the point. You know acronym. There are some acronyms in English. For example, they are the abbreviated form of some degrees. Maybe MBA, BBA, BSc, MSc, then SSc, etc. So they are the abbreviated forms. So we must use the article A or N before them. Now we have to learn what to use, whether to use the article A or the article N. Here also the sound, initial sound will work. M. When you are pronouncing the word M, you are saying A M A M. But when you are using or pronouncing the word B B A B B B. So look at here, while pronouncing M, M, A, so A is the vowel sound and it is coming first. And while you are pronouncing the article, uh, the word B, the letter B or the sound the B, you are, the vowel is coming at the end. So when the vowel come very fast, it will be N. So N, M, B, A. And while the vowel sound comes at the end, so it will be A, A, B, B, A. Similarly, A, B, S, C, M, S, C, and M, S, C, S, S, C, and S, S, C. So after one year, you will be the exam, uh, you will be an examining of J, S, C, J, S, C. So J, J plus A, something like that. So here you have to use A because the vowel comes at the end. A J S C. So after one year, you will become a J S C examinee. So now we have to know some special uses of the article A or N. So in some special phrases, the article A is used. For example, in a hurry, in a hurry, 
in a word, in a word, then uh, in a fix, in a fix. These are the common use that in this phrases you must the, must use the article a or n. You must use the article a or n. Now come to the next rule. Iron is so useful a matter. Look at here the use of so. So if before the uh, adjective if we use so or to is to useful a matter. In this case that after the before the noun at the very end you will see a noun and before the noun you have to use the article a or n. Sometimes some proper nouns are made common nouns to uh, to make uh, and in this case if you want to make a proper noun a common noun we need to use an article. A uh, Daniel came to the judgment. A uh, Daniel came to the judgment. You know that Daniel is the name of a person. So basically this is a proper noun. But here it is working as a common noun. Here Daniel means a wise person. A wise person. So, so Daniel is basically a proper noun, but here it has been used as a common noun. So, in this case, you need to use the article here and before the proper noun. So, this is all about the use of indefinite articles, the use of a and uh, uh, n, and we know that where to use the article a and where to know the article uh, uh, n by our discussion. So, let me give you uh, some homework. Number one, copper is dash useful matter. Number two, he is, he is dash heir to his parents. Number three, they are dash people. Number four, he was, he was dash one eight man. And number five, he has, he has dash BA degree. So these are the homework. You must do the homework at home. And after reopening of your school, you must have them checked by your subject teacher because the marks will be added as with your uh, high exam as a continuous assessment. So at the very end, I am thanking all of you.